Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of What's Sold on eBay and Etsy. <laughs> My name's Rebecca and I run the Curious Flea Vintage Store on Etsy and sometimes I'll dabble in eBay. So it's a basic, basic premise of today is that I'm going to head up to my loft and I'll just pick what sold for me this week and I'll let you know what it sold for. It's not overly thrilling, but it'll give you some ideas of things you might want to pick up, things you might want to avoid. So we'll see you up there. So the first sale of this week is this stripey vase. It's very mid-century glass vase. It's in really nice condition. That has gone for £20 plus shipping and that was on eBay. For jewellery, I'm looking for 175 There it is there. This has just gone for £10, but it'll be nice and easy to pack. It's just a little full pearl necklace. These little cuties have sold for £8 plus shipping. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> they are little salt and pepper shakers and a lot of their paint has worn off so they are damaged but we've still managed to get £8 for those so I'm pleased with that and that tennis racket has gone for £23 on Etsy and that's free shipping. It's not too heavy, it's just long, so it'll be a bit awkward. But that was a nice sale, I think I paid 50 pence for that. Now down here I've got some funny little goblet things, there they are. <laughs> I'll get them out and show you them. They are weird little things. These are like green glass, but you can see they look like petrol in water. And this is like plastic, with a metallic coating on them. Anyway, these have gone for £15. They're really unusual. Very Game of Thrones. And I've also sold this book, this Treasury of Hans Christian Andersen, which was really pretty, but what happened was that pesky DIY dinosaurs book had something sticky on the back of it, and it stuck to this. I tried to delicately peel it off. Obviously, that didn't work. So now the front is damaged, so I just had to quickly message the buyer and say, I'm so sorry, there's been a bit of a disaster. I can either do £3 off or I'll just refund you for the whole order. So thankfully they have taken the £3 off. So this ended up being £7, but that's plus the shipping. So all is not lost. It's a shame because it's so beautiful. But it'll still read nicely and it's got the hardback. So anyway, it's one of those things that happens. Next up is these lovely placemats. These are less... Le, must be French, Le Olivardes. I paid a pound for these at the car boot sale at Keswick that I went to and I got the napkins, the fabric placemats and these are EPNS silver plated napkin rings and these have sold for £37 on Etsy and they're sold in around three days so if you see that brand pick it up. Le Olivardes. For £12 I sold this, I picked this up the other day, um, I went to Whitley Bay in the charity shops and I went into an antique shop and they had this for £2 and it's so cute, it's by Stratton and it's a portable ladies handbag ashtray, so this swings out, I think it swings this way, you can rest your cigarette on there if you were so inclined and it's a little portable ashtray, really cute, now some of these designs do better than others but I've got £12 for this one and it's sold in a day. So that's fantastic. Really, really cute. So that's just a nice little thing to watch out for. And that'll go as a large letter as well, which is fab. A couple of things have sold to the same person. Um, they paid £28 altogether for these two things. It is this piece at the bottom here and that piece there. So I'll get them out. So this piece is a Crown Devon. I think it's a trivet teapot stand type of dealy thingamajig. That's cute, and this is super, I think it's been in an oven, super stained, it's a little bit cracky and crazed. It is from Booths, and yeah, so £28 for the pair of those, so I'm pleased with that. So if you ever do want to do a deal on a couple of things with me on Etsy, just send me a message, we can sort something out. So I better get packing that little pile. The next couple of sales 
first off for nine pounds i've sold these cute little christmas decorations i picked these up literally the same day they sold yesterday and i paid one pound fifty at a charity shop for 15 christmas decorations so this is just a few of them the cute little foiled ones really adorable nine pounds so have a rake in your bauble bin at the charity shops because they're normally super cheap and they are selling really quick but you'll have to get them on fairly sharpish to sell them this year so that's cute and next is this creepy little wall plaque <laughs> and this is sold for 15 pounds yeah i don't know <sighs> creepy it has like is it the shining yeah all of those vibes going on but for 15 pound it's gonna be gone out of my loft and uh haunting someone else so that's fab <laughs> next up in b number 36 this one here this is sold for 14 pounds it's really really gorgeous it's like an amber glass brooch it's really pretty blingy for 13 pounds that includes postage this has gone on etsy it's like an epns plated I don't know, I guess it's like a serving dish, thingamajig, it's super tarnished, but again, I didn't pay very much for that, I think 50 pence if that, so that's gone for 13. Um, in here, I've sold this really gorgeous piece of artwork, if I can find it, let's see. Da, 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 da. Hmm, maybe it's not in here maybe it's in here it must be oh it is it's here it's beautiful it's like an oriental picture it's really amazing so all of that design in there is made out of straw and this slice of wood is gorgeous it's a really unusual shape and this has gone for £25 on Etsy plus shipping, so £29 altogether. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen anything like that before. And again in this box, I'm sorry for the terrible video quality, it's really dark in here already. Um, this is just a silver plated, as you can see, a <laughs> silver plated photo frame. This has also gone for £13, including postage on Etsy. And again today, most of my sales are on Etsy, so... If you haven't got yourself on Etsy yet and you sell all these weird bits and bobs, please put them on Etsy. Obviously, you might not have instant results. My mum just started on Etsy. She's got about 10 things on. She hasn't sold anything yet. But I think it took me about two months to get my first sale on Etsy. But as I say, this is the busiest time of year. So I would definitely encourage you to get going on that. My two eBay sales today are this absolutely gorgeous box. Both of these things have gone for £18 plus postage. It's lovely. I think it was probably handmade by someone. It's just beautiful. It's got little, little tacks in there and the joints are just so cute. So that's £18 and then we're going back over in here and I'm sure this piece of art is in here. You'll recognise it because I only got it the other week from the Richmond Charity Shops. I got it in Oxfam and I paid... What did I pay? I think I paid £2, which is pretty cheap for Oxfam. It's the pair of pears. <laughs> and I'm really trying to buy more bits of artwork, mainly like originals or prints. This isn't signed, but it is an original drawing by someone in chalk. A pair of pears. And this has gone for uh, £18, as I say, plus shipping. And woo, this frame isn't in the best condition. It's only got this one little metal tab keeping it in but all of that was declared it's fine when it's on the wall um it's just a bit precarious when it's not on the wall so we'll get that packed off safely to its new home i really love that these next two pieces are vintage skyline chrome kitchen utensils they've got really cute retro wooden handles now if you watch my latest video you will have seen that i picked up a skyline it's like a measuring scoop thingamajig. It was like a quarter cup measuring scoop. And what I was going to do was take these two down and put them together with the scoop as a three. But these two have sold. 
so I didn't get a chance to do that. But never mind, these have gone for £23 and free shipping, which is unbelievable. I think I paid 50 pence for the both of them. Really cool, really retro. I love those. Let's get picking. Firstly, down in the office, in drawer A, number 8. Let's see if we can see them. They are dangly earrings and they're like loads of little leaves. Uh, here they are. Oh, it's going to be really hard to see them. I might get them out and show you. So, this is them here. Really gorgeous. Dangly earrings. They've gone for £14 on Etsy and that's free shipping. Next up for £7 is this bracelet. I have had this for years. This is one of the very first pieces of jewellery that I picked up when I first started reselling. This is Avon. Really cute, not terribly old. It's still got the lobster clasp on there, but it's in nice condition. And this has gone for £7. That is free shipping as well on Etsy. But I'm glad that that's gone now to a nice home after being stuck in my storage boxes for three and a half years. <laughs> Now down here next to my laptop, I only just listed these the other day, so I picked these up. Um, I got all of these baubles here and I got some like foiled ones as well that I've already sold. And I picked all of these up for £1.50 altogether. I really like the cute little retro wooden Christmas ornaments, so that might be something to keep in mind for you guys for next year. These have sold for £13, these five. Oh, don't break them before I ship them. <laughs> Three angels and two Christmas trees. So cute. That's plus shipping. And this fella here has also sold the little Christmas snowman. He says, let it snow on there. He's lovely. He's gone for £8 plus shipping. And he'll fit in a large letter, which is an added bonus. So now the only ornaments I've got left to sell are these two little guys down here. But I'm going to keep them down here next to my laptop and hope that by sitting here, they'll sell. I don't want to put them up in the loft. I'm, I'm going to have positive thoughts that they are sell before Christmas. <laughs> now we're up in the loft for the rest of this stuff. I've actually sold 16 things this weekend, which is a really bumper weekend for me. Um, I hadn't sold anything on eBay for ages, but it's really picked up for me the past two days, which is great. This lovely little angel has been on this shelf for a year. I got her last Christmas, but I got her like the week before Christmas, so it was a bit too late for people. So... Finally, she's gone to, oh, she's gone to a new home. Come along. £12 plus shipping on eBay. She looks pleased about that. Right up on that top shelf here. Let's see if I can get it without taking anything else out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Come on, tin. Oh, I wish I was taller. Oh, there we go. This is a Fortnum and Mason. Mason? Fortnum and Mason biscuit tin it's empty i paid 20 pence for it it's gone for 12 pounds and it is musical so you can twist the bottom and it'll play a song give me a moment in my little red box of tiny goodies this gorgeous needle wallet has sold it is adorable this has gone for 15 pounds plus shipping it's so cute it's a little leather wallet and it's got two packets of vintage needles in it how cute 12 pounds 50 plus postage is this cat figurine you know i'm trying not to buy too many figurines and my shelf is dwindling which is great um i'm being a bit more picky but if you can get the super long neck cats they are really popular this one wasn't too long necked but it's still gone for 12 pounds 50 this door wedge has sold for £11. I sold the matching letter rack to this the other week, so I'm glad this is gone. It's really pretty. Hand painted. Gorgeous. So far, these have been quite easy to pack up, so I'm pleased with that. A mug has gone. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, it's this one here. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Studio pottery mug. It's really pretty. Nice purple design. This has gone for £12. Lovely. Now, this maker's mark is a freestone. And this says IUG Sky. It was made at the IUG pottery place <laughs> in Sky, which is fab. That it's ended up in the northeast. But well, that is so well made. Shelf 1C is the vase shelf. 
and these two little cuties have gone for £17.50. These oriental style vases don't tend to stick around for long, so especially if you've got a pair, £17.50 is great for those. There is some wear to the design, but they're really lovely. Now for £34.99 I've sold a giant Mickey Mouse and I was thinking, where the hell is he? Then I remembered he's in the other room here <laughs> with all of my books on the floor. And unfortunately Minnie hasn't sold yet, which is a shame, but Mickey has gone to a good home. He is huge. He's huge. Sit next to my bubble wrap. There. He is massive. He's probably like hmm, 60 centimetres tall. He's so happy about finding a new home. $34.99, I'm glad about that, but he has taken over a year to sell, unfortunately. He's a special edition. I can't remember exactly what, like 50 year anniversary or something like that. Someone will be getting that for Christmas. I've just looked it up. He was the 90th anniversary. Cinco. Disney Mickey Mouse. Now, I've recently listed these and they've gone pretty quick just down here and let's see to get this off and it's these ones here I'm sorry it's dark down here two moments I'll just put this one back this is like a carving knife and meat poker thing <laughs> which I actually had on eBay and they took it down which was rude apparently you're not allowed carving knives but whatever you're allowed fish knives apparently but you never know what's going on with ebay so these have gone for 37 pound on etsy really gorgeous full croc case and these are beautiful and they are made by yates brothers 1923 was the date beautiful they've got their hallmarks there Ooh. I don't think they're for silver, they're like silver plated I believe, but £37 is fab. For £15 I have sold a Pocahontas mug, if I can find it down here. Ah, it's at the back there. Ooh, let's see. Really unusual. I couldn't find anyone like this. This has actually gone on Etsy. Really cool. And this jug, which I've also had for ages, has gone for £20 on Etsy. That's not too big. I should just about manage to get that in a small box. There we are. It probably will have had a bowl at some point. But it's still a really pretty piece. That would be nice used as a vase. Gorgeous. And lastly, for my eBay and Etsy sales for this weekend is a teddy bear, which I think... Oh, I think that's his little head poking out there. This little guy has gone for £19. Oh, he's so cute. £19 on Etsy. It's proper retro. It's gorgeous. His head's a little bit floppy, <laughs> but that's fine. I'm happy with that. Nice and easy to pack as well. I've had this necklace for a long time, but it's so gorgeous. I'm so shocked that it's stuck around for so long, but it's finally sold and it's gone for £17 on eBay. It's lovely. These are glass beads and they've got little glass tubes. It's not terribly old, it's got the lobster clasp, maybe handmade, but it's so pretty. So that's it. <laughs> I've just got to pack this lot up. I hate packaging, I don't know about you. I hate packaging, but it's got to be done. And get you guys off to your new homes for Christmas. Next up in draw C number 61. These little Tasmanian devil creatures. So it's a Taz badge. And I don't exactly know what that is. Some sort of belt buckle of some sort. But these two have gone for £14 on Etsy. And the next ones here are these two. And these, I believe, you somehow put on your radiator and you put smellies in them. And as the radiators heat up, they release the smellies. 
so that's cool. Radiator humidifiers, I think they're called. These have gone for £21. That includes the postage. Next up, we have this clown I got the other week. I got this guy from Keswick car boot sale when I went there on my little holiday. He's so cute. I didn't pay very much, I think 50 pence, and he's gone for £12, including postage on Etsy. All of the things I've sold today, five things, have got all gone on Etsy. So, once again, I'm singing the praises of Etsy. Um, this adorable little guy. I've sold quite a lot of Christmas baubles this week. He is adorable. He's also gone for £12, and that includes postage on Etsy. I got him last year. So cute! And all of these coasters here have gone for £15, including postage on Etsy. I think there's like 12 or something like that. There's a lot of them. Really nice sale. But, you know, I'll probably get them in a large letter box as well, to be fair. So they will be heavy, but easy to pack. Wonderful. For £17.50, I have sold these little cuties. They are little kiwi bird salt and pepper shakers. How adorable. I think they were probably a New Zealand souvenir. But I don't think they've ever been used. How cute, please. And next for £17.50 has gone this burgundy cigarette case. Cute. These always tend to sell quite well for me. I need to pick them up quite cheap. So that is £17.50. Lovely jubbly. In drawer A, number five, is some gorgeous abalone shell dangly earrings. There they are. Super cute. These have gone for £12 on Etsy. They're just little simple danglies. Dangly hearts. Now, I'm sorry for the light. This up here. <laughs> this up here look wonderfully illuminated by my light bulb. Is one of the last big things that I've got listed and it's sold. So hooray that it's gone, but boo, that I've got a packet. I'll get it down and show you. Now, I contemplated keeping this actually for Christmas because it's really cool, um, but just as I had that thought, it's sold on Etsy. It's gone for £30 and I did £6 shipping because I thought it's probably going to be in quite a big box with this metal thing here and it might end up being quite heavy because it is solid glass absolutely beautiful it's a salad serving dish i think the only thing it's missing really is maybe the spoons the fork and spoon thingy we jig but i'm not sure if it would have even had one so this is for the dressings two little bottles with their original stoppers salt and pepper really really cute it's in nice condition so yeah i'm a bit jealous for whoever's bought that i wanted to keep it <laughs> never mind and I thought I would sell this sleeping bag in the summer, but I think I was just a little bit too late listing it for the main camping season. Um, I think I paid a pound or two for this. It's really, really gorgeous. Vintage, retro, browns, blues. It's lovely. It's gone for £25 plus postage on eBay. And I've got a wooden cactus somewhere. There it is. This has gone for 17 And that is also on eBay. That's a cool piece. Also on eBay, these Lord of the Rings boxed collection of books have gone for £25. You can see originally they were £32, so they've still got a good deal there. I think I paid £2 for these. So that's really nice. Lovely and easy to pack. Perfect. For £17, I've sold this little figure in here. Let's see if we can get it out without smashing anything. Oh, dear me. There we go. That's seventeen pounds. Really cute. It's got little metal reins and all sorts. Nice. This music box is sold, so I'll get that down. Really nice. Inlaid one wood top. Let me get it open. Really cute. Just needs winding up, but that works fully. Gorgeous. That's gone for twenty nine. And this as well has sold. It's just a plastic Peony Rose design jewelry box. Super cute velvet liner. That's gone for 24. Sorry, I lied. That's 21. And 
the gorgeous pelicans have gone and these have gone for 35 pounds which i'm really really pleased with they are gorgeous really unusual you often see these little stags and i've got some rhinos somewhere but um yeah i've never seen the pelicans so that's a good sale 35 pounds for the pair oh it's falling over you can't handle the excitement <laughs> so they're lovely pieces this little box here has gone for 14 it's just a little ceramic trinket box i guess and for 13 i've sold a little nativity scene figurine thingamajig hmm, and i'm not sure where it is it should be here because this is my figurine shelf but maybe it was full hmm, i'll have to look oh there it is right at the front I missed it so that's cute it's got quite a few little chippy bits but that was all declared baby Jesus there he is in all his glory that is gone for 13 pound and I think that would be really cute if you put a little candle behind it so the light shone through on Jesus <laughs> now thank you baby Jesus because creepy granny sold and she is down there <laughs> I got £10 for her, which I am chuffed with. Oh, I'm just going to start singing again. Now, this is like a wind-up. I mean, I don't know why it was ever invented. I don't know why anyone would want her, but I'm really glad that they do. Her base winds up. She holds this creepy child. And uh, she's all scuffed. But uh, she plays Take Me Home Country Roads. And... I am glad that she is gone because she is creepy as anything. So, next, for a fiver, Mrs. Happy or whatever she's called. She's really cute. I think I paid a pound for her. It's only gone for five. You know, I try not to buy toys, but when it reminds me of my childhood, sometimes I just can't help myself. Also, you can just see the abs of Action Man there. And I'm really pleased with this one. I got £20 for him. And I think I mainly got the good price for his little scuba diving set. He's cool. I paid 50 pence for him, I think, last year at the car boot sales. <laughs> so I'm pleased with that. He took a little while to sell, but hey, £20 for Action Man in a scuba diving suit is not bad. <laughs> this next little lot I've just picked super quick because I'm in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always in a rush. These have gone for £30 on Etsy. They're like mixed metal etched. It's like a little trinket dish thingamajig and a gorgeous vase. So they're £30 on Etsy. This photo frame I got the other week is £15 on Etsy. Super cool and retro. And just for £7 here is this tin which has gone on eBay. I didn't pay very much for that. Now in draw D, number 202, there it is. This has gone for £14. It's like a little souvenir charm bracelet. It's got all sorts of little bits and bobs on there. It's not silver or anything. 14 for that. And I've sold a gorgeous vintage souvenir bracelet here for £20. I'll get these two out and you can have a little closer look. So that's them there. This is gorgeous. It's like France, Paris, various landmarks on there. And I love this little hang tag there of Paris and this one. I think it's like Scottish. It's got the full agate, which is rubbed away. It's got some little extras added on, like that little shoe is added on and this little clog. So yeah, 14 and 20. Nice and easy to pack. And next, a little bit unusual in here. It's this one. It is a little hair grip. It's really cute. It's like a fake bunch of grapes in full pearl. Gorgeous enameled leaves. And yeah, just a hair grip. That's gone for £10. I've just had a couple of sales today. I think everyone's winding down for Christmas. And this little dog has gone for 25. He's like a boxer dog and he's a plant pot and he's absolutely perfect. So cute. And these ceramic napkin rings have gone for 18. I don't know how I'm going to pack these actually. Hmm. I don't know whether to take them out. I'll probably take them out and individually pack them and then put the little box in. 
think that's a better idea than just wrapping this up because that would be lazy so yeah these two and i think that'll be it for for this week's video over and out and that's it for this week i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you next time bye